have to make sure. Is this better, right. Queens? Yes. Are you guys ready for this? No. No. It's pretty easy. It's not gonna be hard. <laughs> All right, welcome back to Cade Ask M and Merbs Questions. So basically, this is how this is gonna go. You've got three categories, politics, music, and current events, except the current events are all of this happened in 2017. Oh, glad I pay attention. So if you follow me on Twitter and you watch my retreat, you should be able to answer these questions, no big deal. <laughs> no chance, I never check Twitter, so. <laughs> anyway, so you gotta come for the noise, so what's your noise? <laughs> Okay, and what's your noise? No! All right, good, all right. So, let's start off, so we're gonna start with music. Okay, music, right? Can you see this? No. Don't cheat, Mike. No. Okay, all right, so the first question is, and keep in mind, the first one to make the noise, and the question has to be completely done before you answer. Can I, can I make my noise before you're done asking the question? No. But... You have to wait. Okay, in 2010, you said this happened in 2017. I, I, this is, <laughs> I feel like right now. In 2010, this band released their first album named American Ghetto. In 2017, they released the album Woodstock, and their current single is still number four on the Billboard Top 100 songs. What is the band? First Man. Hey, I'm got it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, one point for him. All right, you ready for number two? Okay. Okay, so this is like, think back in college. There was... You remember any of that? This is... I this, was... <laughs> think, about, think about it in college, in Troy's apartment, okay? <clears throat> All right, this year, this artist went on tour and several shows were actually canceled due to sex cult allegations. <laughs> also, published on March 17th in 2011, this YouTube series was posted. In, in this series, there is a midget whose name is Bridget, who is this artist. R. Kelly. <laughs> <laughs> What? <laughs> Trapped in the closet. Oh, <laughs> oh man. Congratulations All right. with Bridget. <laughs> so this is a multiple choice answer. So since M's ahead, we'll let Mary Beth answer first. Okay. All right. Okay. Out of these three songs, which one do you think stayed at the top of the Billboard Top 100 charts for the majority of 2017? That's What I Like by Bruno Mars, Humble by Kendrick Lamar, or Ed Sheeran's uh, Shape of You. Oh, crap. It's not Bruno Mars. I feel like all the white people in the world just love their Ed Sheeran, so I'm gonna go with Shape of You. Yeah, you got it! Yay! Good job, <laughs> so now we're gonna move on to politics, which everybody on this couch knows about, right? Um, I get my daily news emails. From I know the, all the things from... that are happening. This is a very easy question. I made these <laughs> so easy. <laughs> no. No, hang on. What does FLOTUS stand for? Let me spell it for you. F L O T U S. I know POTUS was the old one, but. First Lady of the United States. I'm sorry, I didn't hear it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. First Lady of the United States. Good job, Wait, man. What is that's that's, that's the president, president of the United, United States. States. <laughs> Who is the 46th president of the United States? Bill! <laughs> Donald J. Trump. Oh, wait, oh. no. No, Obama. Because <laughs> it's 2017. Still wrong. What? 46th? So, um, do you have an answer? Bush. She just took my answer. <laughs> I don't even know what President Donald Trump is. Forty-five. There is no forty-six president. Okay, screw you. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was trying to like figure out what he was and then count backwards, but I had no idea what number we were. Talking. All right, you know what that sound is? That means it's time for our daily double, which is this is going to be the hardest question of this entire quiz. This congresswoman from Massachusetts was born. <laughs> you should know this. She's very. She's. I don't know. Prominent I in Condoleezza Rice. That she is. No. <laughs> so this congr congresswoman from Massachusetts was born June 22nd, 1949. Was a professor. Birthday. It is your birthday. She was a professor oh, at Harvard. Oh my God. <laughs> she was a professor at Harvard Law from 1995 to 2012, and she has a book called "This Fight Is Our Fight." She also this year. This is why you should know her. There was lots of Facebook videos about this. She grilled Jeff Sessions with a Coretta Scott King letter about him from, I forget the year. Can I have multiple choice? See, it's, yeah, we can do multiple choice. Your your multiple choices are Ed Markey. That's not all the boy. Catherine Clark. I'm gonna go with that, that one. Yeah. Or Elizabeth Warren. That one. Move. 
Yeah. <laughs> What's up? Close with horns. Good job. <laughs> what the? Are you serious? <laughs> Honestly. Oh my god! 2017 highlights. August 21st, 2017. This phenomenon happened where the United States went dark for several minutes. <laughs> what? I'm not done. What is the exact name of this phenomenon? Oh! The moon! The solar eclipse. The exact name. I'll give you one more chance. It's like a special kind of eclipse. A total solar eclipse. Good job, guys! <laughs> Yay! Go on! That was the with me. We still See, this is This is for like... Think about this. This is Snapchat. And this was back when you were able to turn your camera around, click it, and things would pop up, right? So this was back when that first kind of happened. Mm -hmm. So in June, which is the, when he made, when this, no. this person made the debut, oh, no. this superstar, in all capital letters, <laughs> made its way onto Snapchat with the ability to place it on any surface. <laughs> this particular lens, which is what Snapchat calls them, was used. 1.5 billion times between the months of June to August. Moo! What is this lens called? Moo! Okay, you said moo first. The That's hot dog! Fun. Good job, man! Yeah! <laughs> I got a Dancing hot dog. Dancing hot dog. dog pick me. <laughs> um, this one's pretty easy. Stop checking your watch. Oh All right. Gosh. This film was filmed in just 27 days in Fairhope, Alabama in 2017. It stayed in the US box office top 10 for its two after its two months of release. It covered racial issues and sparked a challenge in where people would run toward their friends and as fast as possible turn at the last minute. What was this movie? Run to your friends and then you move. You would turn at the last second. Film, filmed in Alabama. Yeah, place. Fairhope, Alabama. I'll give you. I'll give you a hint. Is it Marshall. No. Is that was Get a out? really good movie. Yeah. Get out. Yeah. Okay, I only knew that because racism in Alabama. <laughs> All right. Good job, guys. Thanks. Em had this many points, and Merv's had this many points. This many points. Good job. Yay. Yay. Stop. <laughs> Alright, well that does it for this video. Thank you so much. If you liked it, this is a little bit different than what I've been doing, so give it a thumbs up. That's the first time I've actually ever asked that in my whole uh, now year on YouTube. So if you liked it, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, all that good stuff. And if you didn't... Why the heck are you watching it then? Get out. Heck. <laughs> Get out. Okay. Go away. Get out, like the movie you guys couldn't answer.